Game started. All right, Eddie. Eddie Rios. Eddie Rios from uh, Venezuela. <clears throat> All right, time to play E4, looks like. Uh, E4, E5, the classical response. Let's see what he does. Does he play the Rui? Does he play the Petrov, or Russian defense? Does he play the Philidor? All kinds of options here for black. He's pausing to think. And thus, okay, well, let's go with the Rui. <clears throat> okay, this is the Steinitz defense, just the immediate d6. Um, it's okay. Uh, white can try and put pressure on the center immediately with uh, d4. And normally, uh, bishop, bishop d7 has to be played to unpin the knight because there's a threat of... Uh, d5 attacking the pin knight. You can also take the pawn. Ooh, I haven't seen that one before. <clears throat> I don't think that's good. Is that good? What's he going to play in response to d5? Take, attack the bishop, okay. So now um, I can take with the pawn, he takes the bishop, and I can take there. And that, uh, does that help him? I think what you do is you retreat first, keeping the pen, and then when he plays here, then you take. <clears throat> and you've got an advanced pawn here, and he's got doubled rook pawns. So that's that should be worth something. Now, where do you want your pieces to go? That's always nice to develop a piece with a tempo. This pawn is loose, and this pawn is loose, but the queen can defend them, or the knight. If the knight comes here, I guess that's, that's a good square. <clears throat> so now, is he threatening to take there? takes, I take, and he takes the bishop. So, yeah, it's undermining the support of the bishop, so I need to do something about that. Where does that bishop want to go? You know, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to undermine the center very easily, so that means a bishop back here on, um, <clears throat> on g3 would not be too useful. So maybe the bishop should go to the square. I, I could have, I guess I could have developed my queen to uh, here and defended, but then um, <clears throat> he could take the knight and mess up the pawns. I don't know. I don't know if that would be good or not. Okay, uh, it's intensifying the pressure on this pawn, isn't he? How interesting. So I guess I have to decide. I can attack his bishop first. And if he takes, I take. If the knight takes a pawn, I take the bishop. If the bishop retreats, <coughs> then I'll have to... Uh, Play pawn to uh, g4, it looks like. But the point is, uh, if he takes, my queen takes back. Yeah, he takes there, okay. I thought that loses a piece. But maybe there is some, some tactical justification here. That's just a trade. He picks up another pawn. <coughs> So, yeah, my pawn structure is kind of a mess, but he is a, a piece down. And his bishop is not yet developed, but he can push his center pawns here. 
So interesting position. Well, he can't push right away because of uh, the knight. So maybe um, let's develop the queen. And um, I could think of playing knight to g4, knight g5, attacking f7. I can also think of playing rook <clears throat> h4, harassing the queen. This, this pawn is loose here. So, uh, knight to h4, could that be played anyway? Knight to g5. Knight to g5. He can't take with the queen. If he takes with the pawn, his, uh, his rook is hanging. Um, he has queen takes g2 here, um, but I would take here with check first, and then checkmate. So, I can play that. Yeah, so he defends. <clears throat> the knight is still not uh, being threatened. How can I bring more more force into this attack? I want to rook on the f file, but uh, don't see how to get there immediately. Um, I have to leave the rook on the h-file to maintain this pin, or I have to move the knight. What else can I do? He's attacking this pawn over here. If I were to cash out with check, queen takes, knight takes, king takes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, he's, still, he's a pawn up if I do that, okay. And my pawns are kind of a mess anyway. So, let's see, he's not taking my knight immediately, so let's, um, how about if we put a rook on an open file? Thinking of going here, and letting him grab that pawn, and giving up another pawn. Well, he can't really take that pawn because of the threat of check and mate. <clears throat> okay, now there's no longer a mate threat, and he's threatening to win my knight. Yeah. So let's... I can bring the knight back here just to block his queen's view of that pawn, and then think of bringing my rook down. It's nice that uh, my queen is on a light square and his bishop is a dark squared bishop. That, that's important here, otherwise this would be a very <coughs> unstable position for my queen. He castles, okay. So let's lift the rook. Now let's get the other rook into the action. It's uh, maybe this way. It's a very funny way to play. My king is on the center, but as long as I can keep his pieces uh, tied up uh, from the various attacks, then I should be okay. Okay, now the queen can threaten to come down here, chasing my king this way. Um, and what else? Can I do something? I can, I can go here with check, and then bishop takes. So if only I got, could get rid of that bishop, this would be a nice check. Fork the king and the queen, and this pawn is pinned. I can take here with the bishop, and just queen takes possible. I could bring my queen back to here so that if um, bishop takes, queen takes, queen takes because of the 
pin on the pawn. I'm threatening to win the H pawn then. And his check down here, I can just go to a light square. So I think that's what I'll do. Threaten, threaten the H pawn. <clears throat> and this knight is loose now, so I have to be careful about that. And, um, ah, yeah, that's a nice tactic. He pushes here, and if I move the knight out of the way, he pushes here, threatening uh, both the bishop and the rook, so it's a fork. So I guess I have to uh, grab a pawn. Well, that also threatens a, a nasty check here on g7. which he allows because after that check check um, he can grab this bishop now which is undefended but I can grab his bishop so it's kind of uh, I'm staying a piece up in this line <clears throat> now, he still has an open file here to come and deliver check at any time if he gets this pawn to uh, F3, that's dangerous, <laughs> because that would be checkmate then. Uh, but a pawn F3, I can play knight G3. Also, I can take his queen. So I believe I have time to uh, take this pawn. It would be nice to get some domination of the 7th rank here. And he's going after this pawn here. But um, that allows... Oh, I'm not in the position for that. I was thinking there's a, there's a nice fork there. But uh, my knight can't quite reach it. <laughs> I would need a longer knight. A uh, long knight ahead. Hmm. I don't want to go back and defend with my king. How about um, that move? Defends with the queen. <clears throat> Check. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's good. The problem is uh, when the king goes up, uh, the rook there check is pretty bad, pretty devastating. So I block with a knight. Um, he can still take there. Ooh, this is looking good for... Uh, looking good for... Uh, Black all of a sudden. Okay, so maybe queen here is the way to play it. Ah, oh, but if queen there, he can still play rook takes. Now, then I take his queen. Queen here, check here, and I can step back. Then he can take with the rook. So queen here, check here, queen down. Then he can... Uh, Take it, or he retreats the queen with check. Uh, I guess that's okay. I think <clears throat> I may survive this yet. We'll see. Okay, he went that way. So let's... Um... Okay, he's covering that square. Let's harass the queen. If I can get the queen off of this diagonal, I can, I can check here. Or I can get my knight to this square and threaten mate. Uh, this check is made. Checkmate. All right. Well, I'm going to upload this game. I thought it was kind of uh, interesting and tactical. Um, just as a programming note, um, I'm going away for a week. I'll be away from my computer, so there won't be any uploads for a while. If I, uh, if I can manage it, I'll try and upload uh, two games today with analysis just to... Uh, Give everybody something to take a look at while I'm not uh, posting. So see you guys later. Bye.